This is Twit. Andy's North Star might arrive in time to stop Christmas trees, excuse me, to top Christmas trees around the world, um, which is a fancy way of saying AMD's next generation GPUs, 12 nanometer Polaris 30 update, the 7 nanometer Navi chip. Um, looks like it's going to be here for holiday shopping season before the end of the year. Quote, with a performance boost of 20% compared to the current Polaris 20 based cards. So. Yeah, this, uh, is gonna, this next year is going to be interesting in terms of, of graphics and, and, you know, CPUs, GPUs, whatever, uh, because we're we're we've had these intermediate process nodes. Uh, so TSMC mm-hmm. has a 12 nanometer. Um, right. AMD, well, Global Foundries has a 12 nanometer that they're using with uh, the current Ryzen 2000 series chips. And it, all that is is essentially TSMC's is a slightly shrunk version. I mean, it's a bigger jump than right. what uh, Global Foundries does. Global Foundries is, it's just a, it's a tweaked 14 nanometer that has better electrical capabilities. And so um, we're assuming, and I don't know for sure, but it's it's pretty pretty safe bet that uh, this 12 nanometer Polaris is going to be coming from Global Foundries. And so they've had a little extra time to work on it. I mean, Polaris, when it came out a couple of years ago, it was not not as impressive as people were hoping. And uh, it was very popular, obviously, with the miners. And now we're mm-hmm. finally at the point where we have sub $300 RX 580 8 gig boards. And, and that's that just hasn't happened in, in a year, year and a half, maybe even longer. Mm-hmm. I can't remember exactly. But AMD has had a chance now to kind of see where the process nodes are going. Uh, seven nanometer capacity is, is going to be tight because Apple's going to want a piece of it. Other mobile guys are going to want a piece of it. Qualcomm's going to want something. AMD's going to be... Uh, uh, leveraging it for, uh, I think, their their next generation Epic stuff that they really want to mm-hmm. get out because Intel's having the stumbles that that they are. And so the graphics guys are kind of going to have to take a two-tiered approach. Mm-hmm. Their mainstream and low end are, are going to have to be 12 nanometers because they want the high end stuff and the stuff that's high margin to be able to pay for it. Being produced on seven nanometer and so we're going to see the large gpus the high-end stuff probably maybe not this year but but into certainly into next uh, right. and that'll be leveraging seven nanometers but for the time being they they need to have a refresh of what they're doing right now and so the the theory is that uh nvidia next month is going to be releasing their 12 nanometer parts in the uh, gtx 1100 series AMD with their their Polaris 20 and uh, you know the the 20% probably comes from a combination of two things. One, obviously you're getting improvement in performance uh, due to the process technology. 12 nanometer mm-hmm. process is a little bit faster. It's a little bit better. I mean, we've seen a little bit of a jump on the Ryzen side, but the Polaris was not. I mean, it was a fairly well optimized GPU, but not really. I mean, AMD relies on a lot of automated place and route uh, for their designs, especially GPUs, just because they don't have the. Uh, I know, they don't have the the, the workforce that that Intel does to uh, mm-hmm. do a lot of a lot of hand uh, laying of of the designs, um, and so there's a lot that they could do in there to optimize. Right. And I mean, certainly the the 14 nanometer products, the RX series, they didn't clock as high as people had expected, especially as compared to what Nvidia is does. Um, because they they do a lot more, you know, hand work rather than uh, automated, and and again, it's 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 a matter of R and D and how many employees you can hire, and Nvidia's got AMD beat there in, in the graphics side. So <laughs> it's going to be nice to see if they get an improvement. But twenty percent, if it does that, then you know at least they're at like GTX ten seventy speed for their high end, which is better than what they've been doing lately. I mean, they're what Vega. 56 is about GTX 1070, 1070 Ti. Their uh, Vega 64 is 1080, right. but boy, it's, you know, they're, they both consume a bit more power than what NVIDIA does on their side. So this is going to be a nice refresh. And again, throughout the rest of this year, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the graphics guys do in response to, um, you know, how much line space there are in, in these next generation process technologies.